Hi, it's John. I've just been putting up a video, the video about uh, Dean Court Farm. And one of the things we had on Dean Court Farm was a lot of buttercups in the field. They look quite pretty. I mean, in this field there's a lot of buttercups and um, docks. Um, now I believe buttercups are poisonous in some way. I'm not quite sure. Poisonous cattle in some way. I'm not quite sure. And then ragwort is poisonous as well. Um, ragwort is uh, spreading like wildfire in in the UK, <coughs> and they've given up. I think they've given up trying to stop it. It spread all the way along the railway lines, and um, and now it's all along the motorways and everywhere. And uh, I don't know. They they, they introduced the uh, cinnabar. Is it cin cinnabar moth to try and counteract it? Now people think that the um, ragwort is actually good for wildlife. Uh, anyway, I don't know. What I wanted to talk about, just a brief thing, was about competition. Um, I have been brought up in a very competitive environment. And competition runs right through my veins. Everything is competitive. My family is very... Well, they're not competitive, but they're very cynical. So they'll always compare you to um, somebody who's doing something fantastically. Um, so it's a sort of type of competition, these comparisons. And when I think back, all the games we used to play as kids, they were all competitive card games. Um, even when we went out fishing, who could catch the biggest fish? Went out metal detecting. Who could find the best bit metal, bit best coin? Who could take the best photograph? Um, it terrible. Uh, and one of the nice things about YouTube is it's not really competitive. You know, people are very happy to share how to do things, and uh, and and. Um, technical skills, uh, anything like that. I mean, most people seem seem very uh, open to sharing. I mean, I remember in schools in the, in the 1990s, they had a phase of, rather than chalk and talk, the teacher standing at the front and teaching, um, but they, they went through a phase of um, all the children around the, around the, the uh, tables and it was a buddy system, so if one child couldn't do do something, the, a, a more able child would help them. And um, that seemed like a very good system. I don't think it's in action now. Uh, I think what everything now in schools is geared towards the exams. Working out how many points you can get for a particular question, and, and how to answer the question correctly. Um, so what is being produced now are exam passing machines. Whether that's good or not, I don't know. But uh, that buddy system sounded good to me. Okay, bye for now.